More than 1,200 islanders registered through the department's website looking for help to return home. In view of this, the opportunity arose to pay a return ticket. However, the House representative for the department said that we must find a way to make these flights free since there are families who do not have the money. The idea is for this flight to really be humanitarian, and if this flight is not totally free, at least it should not cost the million pesos that they are required parents to pay since we are not in a position to do so at the moment. Therefore, the idea is to look for a sponsor or for the national government to assume this cost so that these flights can be carried out because there is a fuel cost. But really, at the moment, the community of the islands, the parents, do not have a way to pay these million pesos. We are seeking for it to be totally free. The Congress member also said that these flights could help bring people into the country who need specialized medical treatment urgently. I want to share with you that this humanitarian flight offers another opportunity for people who are in here in the department and who need to go to the interior of the country to make their specialized consultations, especially with oncologists. There are many people who need to continue with their radiotherapy treatment and have not been able to return to continue with the special treatment while risking their health and causing it to be much more aggravated. Therefore, we could embrace this humanitarian flight that we are using to bring people here to also be used to take people out of San Andreas so they can continue with their special medical treatments. It is expected that in the next few days, the first flight will be arriving with the first students who pay the initial fee to go home.